seeking prowess for the visitors tonight. The first lit leg of two in the third round of the Canadian Championship is underway as the road to the Voyagers Cup continues. It'll be a good test. Our first time we've seen Canadian Premier League sides take on other competition. There is Peter Schala, solid center back out of Cape Breton. Has been standout this Canadian Premier League season thus far. Hallworth. He like, loves to push up the field from that right back position, can play an attacking wing role as well. Chris Manella plays it out to Hallworth. Good touch into the corner, and it's going to be the first corner kick of the match coming up here in the first minute of action. Picture perfect night as you take a look at Nikola Popovich, the second year head coach of the Ottawa Fury. His team's come a long way over the last year and change. Hallworth to take. Ball played to the near post that's headed clear for the time being. It's a clear 4-3-3 formation for Ottawa. Very good, very quick attacking down the flanks. Hallworth is a big part of that. First toucher, Thomas Mayer Jaguer. As they spin it around the back, Callum Irving is the goalkeeper. As a replace. Crapo was the number one here in Ottawa. Last season was the number three goalkeeper. Crapo was the USL goalkeeper of the year. You'll see him potentially later on tonight as the Vancouver Whitecaps, his current team now, take on Cavalry FC a little bit later on tonight. A triple header right here on one soccer. Jan Michael Williams, the goalkeeper, the captain, the vastly experienced Trinidad and Tobago. National team goalkeeper, 81 caps for country. Perea clips that on to Akeem Garcia. Can't bring that down. Ottawa back in control. Attacking from left to right on your screen. Wayward touch for Haworth. That ball out of touch for a Halifax throw. The Privateers, 1882, in what they call the kitchen behind the Halifax goal. They brought it all season long. A true out and out Canadian club success story. Big long throw, Matthew Arnone knocks that down. Mohamed Karuma keeps that in play. Three goals already in the Canadian championship for Karuma. Seven thirty p.m. Eastern time tonight. It's York Nine taking on the Montreal Impact. Nine thirty p.m. Eastern time. Cavalry hosting the Whitecaps of Vancouver. Francois tries to turn, and Rone does a nice job out of York University. Ball skips through. Halifax are comfortable playing this way. If this is the first time you've seen them, very organized defensively under Stephen Hart. This is where they're dangerous on the counter. Garcia, also at a Trinidad and Tobago. Andre Bona. Andre Rampersad. Strong Canadian contingent with a little bit of TNT flair. They've been solid defensively all year and very good here at Wanderers Ground. In fact, second best home record in all the Canadian Premier League. 4 1 and 1. Here is Haworth. Mayer Jaguer. Not much space, both teams just feeling each other out. Well done on the ball by Chris Manella to Francois. Is Petrescu gonna give the foul here? It's a first look in litmus test on how Canadian Premier League teams stack up just two months into their season. Everything brand new and both coaches interesting to see how their sides match up. Here's Kodaida. Japanese player has been very good on the season. Joined Halifax for the open trials. Crafty on the ball. Looks like a foul along the touchline. It is given. Combination of Diego De Freitas. 
The Nua Obasi combined right there. That Defreitas just left his leg in. High press comes, and Arnone needs to do better. Manella, the chance to counter. Francois tries to find Oliveira, doesn't. Jeremy Gagnon, Le Paré. Defreitas. Referee says play on, and Garcia, a chance to counter. Perea, the 32-year-old out of Colombia, can't quite get there. Wasn't a hamstring, a foot, a leg, as you take a look at head coach of the Halifax Wanderers, former Canadian national team head coach, Stephen Hart. Did a very good job in these early days with HFX. Zoom Langwa. Ding Yong, or make that Mayer Jaguer, gets involved there, Garcia. Taken down by Oliveira. Free kick coming up to Halifax. On Perea, the Colombian, didn't miss out through any muscle injury. It was a hand injury that's kept him out for so long. And speaking with Stephen Hart ahead of this one, says he expects Perea to be able to go 60, 70 minutes tonight. He's economical, very smart in his movement. It's a big addition to a team. Really needed that player that can provide some goals. Rampersat to Perea. Still on the ball, turns that inside. Absolutely no room. Count them. Eight Fury defenders surrounding the Colombian. And swing and a miss, Francois. The ball is out. Wanderers supporters will have some fun with that. Garcia. Key matchup are really going to be down the flanks for both sides. Bona and Langwa, two of the top fullbacks in the Canadian Premier League, trying to deal with the threat of Haworth and Francois. Ball over the top. Perea is Irving quick off his line. Well done by the Fury goalkeeper. This is how HFX plays. They're fine giving up possession. They just want to make sure that they're able to counterattack with speed, with precision. It's been their recipe for success this season thus far. Francois, the frustration continues. Free kick coming up. For Ottawa, the Sixth Canadian Championship for the Fury. They've had a lot of success against non-MLS teams. Seven wins, one draw, eight losses overall. Flicked on by Manella. Kignola Paré. This is where you can see Francois and his speed. One on one with Ernone. Plays the ball across. Far post, no one there. But Bona. Heavy touch by Andre Bona. Out of touch, Defreitas. Throw in coming up. Seventeen Canadian players in the Ottawa Fury team. Here's one of them in Thomas Mayer Jaguer. Giveaway. Look out for Karuma. Finds Garcia. Back to Elliot Simmons. Was part of the Ottawa Fury Academy growing up. Rampersad. Finds Perea. Does well to recover. Simmons, Langwa, and Zachary Secunda. All were part of the Fury Academy. Good give and go. Perea, Ida, back to Ida. Well closed down by Guignol Le Paré. Look at the pace of Francois. Cristiano Francois. 
HFX will need be wary. Zoom Langwa and Francois down this side. Something to watch. Just got to step on Arnone. One on three, difficult spot. I asked Stephen Art about containing a player like Francois. Says for his fullbacks, Bona and Langwa, he doesn't want to put the seat belt on them or the safety belt on them. He wants them to be able to play free and get up the field and attack. Goal is here in the 11th minute. Use the hashtag CanChamp and be involved in the conversation. Langlois. Gets the ball caught up in his feet, gifts it to Francois, overruns it. Cristiano Francois back on it. Clearly the danger man. Arnone there to half clear. Karuma. He's going to earn a throw. Self inflicted wounds. You'll want to limit them if you're HFX, won't you? Stephen Hurd has history with the Ottawa Fury general manager Julian de Guzman. Featured 23 times, de Guzman has under Hart between 2006 and 2012, including the 2007, 2009, and 11 Gold Cup and World Cup qualifiers in 11 12. Both have a ton of respect for one another. Karuma. Goes straight at Haworth. Well defended. Mohamed Karuma joined Halifax from the open trials as well. Born in, born in Guinea, raised in Montreal. He's been standout on this Canadian Premier League season. Popovich, looking unusually calm. He's a high intensity, highly focused individual. Arnone gets their ball at a touch for another throw. Manella. Here is Francois again. Shala gets a piece. Bona was confused, was in between two spots. Finally, Rampersad just clears that out of play. Communication a little bit off. It's a big occasion for this HFX side. Steven Hart said he'll see how his team fares. They know what's at stake. We're expecting a big environment, a big env environment, big atmosphere here tonight. Rare time where the ball's being built up down the left hand side for Ottawa. Doesn't come off. Here's Perea. Perea made that tough on Karuma. Charlie Ward. Fred, it's Haworth. Manella. Handball on Zoom Langwa. Wrote a letter to the city of Halifax encouraging everyone to come out and support and make noise and being great voice here tonight. Take part in the occasion. Looks like the city has responded. Spent time in both Italy and Spain. Did Zoom Langwa trying to develop as a professional. Went to Europe as a 17 year old former Canadian under 17 national team player. The big men are up for Ottawa. How worth over this? 
Jab Michael Williams with the punch. Ball comes down. Oliveira, ball flicked on. And a Jan Michael Williams punch and clear. Looked like that was Barnathan there. Dakota Barnathan getting his head to it. Here comes the Fury. Starting to grow into this game nicely. Oliveira finds some space. Shale closes down. Flight goes up offside. Ball was almost in slow motion, but Jan Michael Williams did enough to punch it clear. There was almost the benefit of Oliveira not catching that clean as the big man Dakota Barnathan was up in the attack. Almost rewarded. 24 year old, last club was the Swope Park Rangers, which happens to be Popovich, his former club back in 2017 as well. Well done by Mohamed Kuruma. From distance, whoa, that was close. Irving played that cool. It had some dip, it had some swerve, and Karuma coming close. When he took that shot, you're thinking it's quite ambitious from distance, what, 40 yards out, but Karuma did well. First warning shot fired Callum Irving's way. Haworth. Gignol Lapare, Karuma again. He's a physical player, is Mohammed. Here's our None as Halifax just tries to keep hold of the ball. They've done a lot of running in these early stages, defending. Langwa sticks Francois and a free kick coming up. Francois feeling it a little bit. Already down Sam and fall they'd hate to lose another one of their top attacking players on this side Langwa just 21 years of age out of Ottawa left it in a little bit make contact with the shin of Francois nothing sinister on that just a committed player in cup competition Some tape on the leg and the player out of Haiti about to rejoin play. Of course, the Haitian national team beat Canada 3-2 at this summer's Gold Cup. Disappointment for Canada and Francois hoping to become part of that program in the not so distant future has played for Haiti at the under 23 level. He's making an impression with a very strong USL campaign thus far. Howarth, well done to Manella. Switch and play. Here's a bossy. Rampersad. Read that well and free kick for HFX. Ida. To Garcia, their leading goal scorer. Well closed down. That is Barnathan. Ida, well done. Bona, chance to play a ball through. He does. Karuma just can't get uh, over that. This is where HFX, if they push numbers forward, they can be dangerous in the attacking third. Ida, so creative, isn't he? Karuma was open. Ball soared on Bona just a little bit. Difficult Karuma as he was coming towards the near post. Yeah. 
Elliot Simmons with the foul in the middle of the park. There is Jeremy Gangong Lapare. Some nicks and bumps and bruises already for the Fury. And a Sherbrooke, Quebec, his third season with the Ottawa Fury. Played 15 games with Ottawa last year. Signed his first professional contract with the Montreal Impact in July of 2014. Experienced player. Ball comes off Howarth and out of touch for a throw. Rampersad, good touch. Simmons doesn't come off. Goal this year at Wanderers Ground. Garcia can't get that over the top. Gareth Wheeler with you. Possession skewing in Ottawa's favor 57% thus far. Three shots to Halifax just with one. 84% pass accuracy as well for the Fury. Obasi. Oliveira can't chase that down. Here's Shala. Heavy touch. One of the many players out of U Sports as Halifax, one of the teams of the Canadian Premier League using our national collegiate system or university system, I should say. Plenty of talent, which over the years has gone overlooked. Giving these players a professional chance with drafted fifth overall, Shala was, out of Cape Breton. Arnone. Out of York University. Second team OUA West All-Star a season ago. and cemented himself as a first choice center back alongside Shella. Shella says he's going to be going back to Cape Breton, but the way this first professional season has gone, there may be other opportunity. He has been that good. Here's Francois. Tries to slip it past Arnone. Read that like a children's book. High pressure comes. Shella, it's not a great clearance. Here's Manella. Weighs his options to Freitas. From distance, back of the net. What a strike from distance. It looked like the attack had been snuffed out, but a wand of a left foot. Top corner. And Ottawa Fury, they lead one goal to nil. Manella looked like he'd run right into a stop sign. Look at this. Into the side netting. Diego DeFreitas. Stunning. His first goal of this season. And the 32-year-old out of Brazil has given the team from our nation's capital a 1-0 lead. Well, how about that? Halifax look like they've been doing so well. We're getting stuck in and a shot from distance. He's the one that beats J. Michael Williams. Take a bow, young man. Over 10 years of professional experience, took him from Fluminense back in his native Brazil to Europe, played for clubs in Italy, Germany, Portugal, Hungary, and Greece. Also played for FC Edmonton in the NASL, and well, he's put his stamp on this Canadian championship, hasn't he? Here is Howarth. 
Halifax needs to weather the storm here. Simmons takes advantage of the heavy touch. Shala. Barnathan. Obasi. Ottawa the better side, no doubt about that, through 25 minutes. Gagnon Le Paré. You heard it from Ottawa. Rampersad steps on his foot. It's a sore one, isn't it? Andre Rampersad out of, guess where, Trinidad and Tobago. There's that TNT connection with Stephen Hart. The only coach, the Canadian men's national team, is coach Trinidad and Tobago as well. So a free kick coming up for Ottawa. Rampersad, a physical player. A little clumsy. Coming down to the foot of the player. Howworth, very dangerous from set piece situations. Weighing his options. Goes far post. Shala gets up. Oliveira, nope. That's high, that's wide. That's out of touch as it deflects off a HFX defender. Corner kick coming up for the Fury. Oliveira, three goals, two assists on the USL season. Also formerly of Swope Park Rangers out of Cape Verde. Howarth inside the area, who gets there? Rampers had half clearance, ball played. Out as HFX catches their breath. Manella. Back to Irving. Howard does well to keep that in play. Francois against Langlois. It's Cristiano that wins out. Chala out for another Fury corner kick. The Wanderers look a little bit nervous. Uncharacteristic mistakes being made. Hart's going to want to see his side just settle in. Take a breath. Howarth. Near post this time. It's Arnone heading clear. Another chance for Carl finds Oliveira. Ida and Simmons both step in. Here is Elliot Simmons. Halifax in this competition advancing through two rounds before Ottawa even kicked the ball in this year's Canadian Championship. Got past Vaughn Azuri of League One Ontario. Actually lost one nothing to Vaughn here at Wanderers Ground. 3-2 victory in Ontario, the Ontario Soccer Centre. And the first leg was enough to see them through then Halifax, in convincing fashion, 4-1 on aggregate, dispatched to Valor in round two. Valor FC of Winnipeg. Howarth, good ball over the top. Shelly gets a piece. Langwa steps in. Here's Francois. Good block, Arnone. Langwa with some contact. Fair play by the referee. Here is Gagnon Le Paré. Pulls that near post. Wow, he had space, didn't he? Just needed to open up his body. Here me Gagnon Le Paré. Hasn't got a goal in the season, and Popovich is thinking perhaps that should have been number two.
Jai Michael Williams. Nope. He's to use his experience. He's 34 years of age, the goalkeeper. We'll hear from Andy, John, and Kurt at the half. Could have Williams done better on that effort from distance by DeFreitas? One of the talking points coming up from our One Soccer Studios. Manella. Well, that's a heavy touch right there. Akeem Garcia steps up. Perea to Garcia. He's in. Past the goalkeeper. He goes down. Penalty given. Callum Irving takes him down. He sees a yellow penalty for the home side. That's the way forward for Halifax. So dangerous on the counter. Heavy touch giveaway in the middle of the park. Perea heads up. Wonderful through ball to a Garcia. Heads up play by Garcia as well, slipping it past the goalkeeper. Could have taken a shot attempt right there instead. Read the play well as Irving was fully committed. So here we go, a chance to equalize for the home side. It is going to be Luis Alberto Perea stepping up to take. What a turn this would be. Perea, perfect, into the corner, 1-1. Perea provides the service leading to the penalty and provides the finish as well. As the Colombian makes it level here, a big moment for this man, his first Canadian championship goal. And welcome back, Luis Alberto. Three Canadian Premier League appearances, two goals, and gets one here on his return to action. What a moment, and that'll be the message from Popovich. Just cannot afford to give away the ball in dangerous areas with Karuma and Garcia and Ida and Perea. That's what the Wanderers do best, make you pay on the counter. Ottawa were perhaps a little bit too comfortable and heavy touch in the middle of the park is really bought, brought HFX right back into this game. Oliveira over the top, it's Francois on Arnone. Arnone steps in. Don't mind that, the referee allowing play to go on. A little physicality, committed plays, what we expect here in cup competition. Irving can't complain about the penalty conceded. There was contact there, wasn't there? Mohamed Karoum is also Converted penalties in this competition. The 3-2 win, he scored one that day over Montessori. Karim has also scored a penalty in Canadian Premier League action as well. Well done, Howarth coming inside. Plays it wide, ball into the back of the net just like that. The Fury respond. Well created by Ottawa. Howarth with a bit of magic creating that goal. And the Fury retake the lead, 2-1. Well done by Carl Howarth and, well, make it two. Diego De Freitas is having himself a game. That left foot again, same corner, similar spot. A first half brace for the Brazilian. And Ottawa leads 2-1. That is a backbreaker for Halifax. Howard stepping inside. And DeFreitas finishing the job. Back and forth we go.
been a lively first 35 minutes, hasn't it? The Freitas has been playing inside, but can cut out to that left side. And predominantly the attack has been coming down this right-hand side. Needs to be closed down in that area. There'll be from some frustration from Stephen Hart that Howarth with ease sliced through Halifax like a hot knife through butter. Langwa. King Yol Lapare. He's done a nice job pressing high. He's been all over the park. Halifax has been so stingy on the season. 11 games in league play. have only conceded 11 goals. Two goals through 34 minutes in this one. Well done by Oliveira, bringing that ball down. Francois with some space. He's finding that matchup with Arnone. A preferable route, in matching up one-on-one -on -one with Langwa. Switch of play by Ward, who's a bassy. Ida tracking back. Anua Abassi back into the middle of the park. Reset for the Fury. Manella. Howarth, one of, if not the top, fullbacks in all of the USL. Howarth was the only Fury team member coming into this game having already scored in the Canadian Championships, two goals and two assists. Well, give him another in the second tally here tonight. Being lit up down this right side for the Fury, left side for Halifax. HFX has looked good when they've been able to attack down this right-hand side. Keem Garcia catches Manila. It's going to be a free kick coming up. Caution shown to Garcia here in the 40th minute. Late challenge, can't complain too much. Very good young player, Akeem Garcia, 22 years of age. Scored with regularity for Santa Rosa back in Trinidad and was in the conversation to take part in the Gold Cup. Wound up not making the cut as Manella re remains there on the pitch. Be one of the more dangerous players for Halifax on the season. There is Chris Manella joined the Fury as a trialist in 2018 and ended up playing 32 of 35 games in 2018. It's Toronto FC's 10th homegrown player and has become a key player for Popovich and the Fury. 
Good to see him back on his feet. Manila from Toronto, Ontario. Was actually the first captain of TFC2 when he debuted in the USL in 2015. There are your goal scorers. Such a big turning point responding and being able to take a goal back right when you can see. It just took three minutes after Halifax equalized for Ottawa to find the go-ahead goal. Bona played shallow into trouble and Jan Michael Williams had to get a touch on that as Daniel Lapare. Wow, he came close, just fizzed that over the goal. Another costly giveaway by Halifax, sloppy stuff inside their own area. If you're Bona, a soft touch inside your own six, you're asking for trouble and Jan Michael Williams to the rescue. Got a good touch on that. Howarth is going to try a corner kick from the other side. The corners are adding up for Ottawa. Howarth, that's dangerous into a crowd. Obasi was there. You saw last season in Ottawa had a ton of sides in their attack. Oftentimes, Howarth would try to play it on goal, force the goalkeeper defenders into an error. That was a strategy there as well. It's been a lively first half for Jeremy, hasn't it? Karuma slips past Howard. Mohamed Karuma plays it through the six. Perea with a chance, can't bring that down. Chance for the Fury to recover. Here's Simmons. The switch is on, goes to Ida. Doesn't go all the way out to Bona, instead comes back the other way. Karuma, he's wide open as well. Mohamed could have a run. Howarth closes him down. Comes off the right back and the first quarter kick of the game coming up for HFX. All kinds of space being given in wide areas by the Fury. Irving, not the tallest goalkeeper. Let's see if he can be challenged here. Arnone comes forward, Shala comes forward, ball comes in. Well cleared by Obasi. Halifax has been a much better second half team than they have been in the first. Scored double the amount of goals in the second half than the first half on the season, so Fury will want to keep this clean here for the remaining. Oh, 100 seconds and whatever time is added on. Right for side. Good ball to Karuma. Brings that down, make that Langwa. Zoom Langwa. Using his pace, doesn't come off. Too much to do with three Fury defenders between him and anyone else wearing blue. off Kuruma last. Ambitious ball over the top and a goal kick coming up. Love to be a fly on the wall for the halftime chats. Halifax seems like they just need to settle. Stephen Hart just wants to have his side with a chance going back to Ottawa in two weeks' time. And as for Popovich, I'd be impressed with the attacking play. Two minutes of time added on. 
and be wary of the threat of Halifax on the counterattack in the second half. Rampersad. It's got to be a foul. It is a foul as Ward comes through the back of Garcia. Free kick coming up. Less than ideal fouling that area of the park, especially with, what, 90 seconds to go here. More the product of the Aston Villa Academy. 23 years old, has played over 100 professional games. A lot of experience for a young player. A little bit naive in that challenge right there. Arnone and Schell are forward, ball played in. Arnone tried to flick that on, and the big man Obasi is there again. Sizable figure playing down the left-hand side. Stay with us at the half. Andy, John, and Kurt will break down the first 45 minutes for you, as well as look ahead to York 9, Montreal Impact, which will kick off in about 40 minutes time. Here is Francois. Is there another goal in the fury here in the dying seconds of the first half? Guignol Lapare. Howarth, he's been excellent. Good touch to Francois. Head up, blocked by Arnone. One more chance coming up here for Ottawa. Their fifth quarter kick of the 45 plus. Here comes Obathi, here comes Barnathan. Here comes the Fury. Some work to be done by this man. How worth the take, his service has been very good. In the mixer again, oh the goalkeeper didn't read that well at all. Well, the referee saw something he didn't like. Perhaps let Halifax off the hook. And there goes the final whistle. Tiago de Freitas. What a half of football for him. He fried, baked, and torched. Halifax, two wonderful strikes. Two goals into the right-hand corner. Halifax got their goal from the penalty spot. It was Luis Alberto Perea capitalizing on Callum Irving, bringing down Akeem Garcia in the box. It's 2-1, our more in store in the second 45. Gareth Wheeler has the call. So far, so good for the Fury. Two first half goals, both courtesy of Diego DeFreitas. His first two goals for the club, Luis Alberto Perea from the penalty spot. Gave Halifax their goal, it's 2-1 as we Start play here in the second half. Gareth Wheeler with you, the first of three tonight as the third round of the Canadian Championship to the, the road to the Voyagers Cup continues right here on One Soccer. Be part of the conversation online. Use the hashtag CanChamp. Wonderful crowd, just about sold out here at Wanderers Ground. Beautiful night, 20 degrees Celsius. As the Fury make their first trip out east to the Maritimes. The underdogs have shown some bite. Perea back in the team for the first time since June 1st. Coincidentally, that day as well, Perea converted from the penalty spot, did so again here tonight. Halftime talks are done. The first of two legs, two sides will meet at TD Place in the great city of Ottawa in two weeks' time. A hearty hello and thanks for tuning in to those watching at the Senate Tavern in our nation's capital. The Fury and their great fans enjoying this one thus far. Rampersat. Daniel Lapare, he's been active, very involved all match long. Jan Michael Williams beaten twice by DeFreitas. Two wonderful left-footed strikes, one from over 30 yards out. Another corner kick coming up. Ottawa's been dangerous on corners throughout the match. This is gonna be corner kick number six. Right 
as Cristiano Francois has been active, involved, causing problems on the right hand side. So is this man right here. What a combination. Howarth and Francois. Barnathan's forward. Good service again. It was Barnathan getting there first on the near post. His glancing header just didn't quite get enough on it. Goal kick coming up. His service is excellent, isn't it? Carl Haworth out of Southport, England. The captain, sixth season with the, with the Fury. Longest serving Fury player as well. 126 matches now for Ottawa. Obasi. Ida. Need to get Koda Ida much more involved. Very good on the ball. He's been doing a lot of running, but most of it's been from a defensive perspective. Need to find a way to bring Koda Ida into the game. Howarth. He had time to bring it down. Langwa. Behind Karuma. Good hesitation by Francois. Manila. Ida with just nine total passes in the first half, nowhere near enough for such a creative influence. That's the second fewest in the team. Garcia only had seven. Ward, all kinds of time, decides to go back. Stephen Hart will just want to keep this closed. All isn't lost if the result stays this way or the scoreline stays this way. They want a punching chance going back to our nation's capital. Possession continuing to add up for Ottawa, now up to 60%. Ward with the switch. Well done. Howarth in stride. Head up. Ball across. There is Oliveira. Bona came over to help out. Oliveira finding some space behind Peter Schala. Corner kick number seven. Not much this man could have done on either goal. Did do well to save from Gagnon Lapare on the first half. Bullet eyes for the top corner. Abasi moves forward. Barnathan moves forward. In swinging corner kick coming up. Gives problems. Again, this is very similar to what Haworth did in the first half of play. These in swing corner kicks, they're forcing the goalkeeper to make a decision. This has to be in the scouting report. John Michael Williams is experienced. He knows that this is coming. Look at the big man. Four of them all near post. Very similar. Flicked on and Arnone. Important intervention right there. It's quite clear what the Fury are trying to do in those situations. Ida. Catches a little elbow from Haworth. Nice job by Oliveira. Back to Obasi. Back heel by Tiago. Another corner kick coming up. Nikola Pop Popovich, other than the penalty conceded, has to be thrilled by the way his team has dealt with a little bit of a relative unknown. Told me pre-match, just focus and energy and commitment was necessary. Haworth, this time goes far post and Michael Williams had to backtrack a little bit, didn't he? Tries to spring Ida, he does. That's a great throw by the goalkeeper. 
Here comes Halifax. Ida, was there contact? Yes. No surprise, the Fury doesn't agree. And Halifax rewarded. There's some positive play by their goalkeeper. Karuma over top of the ball. Shaw is forward as is Arnone. Goes near post. It's Bona right there. Bona! Did the flag go up? It did go up. Oh no. Andre the Giant looked like he had got his goal. Ottawa saved by the offside flag. Stephen Hart can't believe it. Let's get another look at this because that was a well taken free kick. Bono! Whoa, some con controversy here. Bono was absolutely onside. Perhaps started from an offside position, but by the time the ball was kicked, looked like he was onside. You have a case there, Stephen Hart. That was picture perfect. Karuma to Bona and, well, Ottawa, they've seen their fair share of bailouts over the days in our nation's capital. They get bailed out right there. Nothing wrong with a little controversy in the Canadian championship, is there? Here's Langwa. See if that can inspire Halifax. Unless I'm seeing it wrong. Bona should have, would have, could have been onside. Beat Irving, really good finish as well. Straight off the training ground, that stuff. Boy, oh boy. Karuma, well done. Rappersad steps around his mark. Back to Karuma. Barnathan right there, and here comes Halifax. The privateers are on their feet. Much better from the Wanderers. Important touch on the ball by Barnathan right there as Pereira was wide open on the six. Elliot Simmons to take. Just the second corner for Halifax. Simmons. Irving, well, didn't come and get that clean. Good enough, however. Positive start to the second half for Halifax. And one massive talking point. With the goal being called back. You always want to save your lives, but you got to make sure Assistant referees, there's no VAR here in the Canadian Premier League or the Canadian Championship. The rule tie goes to the runner. It can and often does apply. Or the attacking player in this case. Ward to Obasi. There is Bona. Oliveira does well to get there first. Tiago. Mayor Jiguer. Francois, look at that pace. Good battle here with Langwa. Finds Ward. Karuma got caught wrong side. Manella. Good. Howarth, even better. Back heel. Oliveira to Gingo LaPere. Big challenge by Shella. And Garcia tries to break free. Is there a caution coming up as Obasi 
professional foul on Garcia, and there is the yellow card. Obasi joins his goalkeeper, Irving, in the book for the Fury. Garcia did well. In fairness, heads up play by Obasi. He knows what Halifax can do on the counter. Ubathi, Ubasi, that is, in his fourth year with the Fury. Out of Birmingham, England. Heart no stranger to frustration and controversy over his very good managerial career. A little bit of a soft foul there. Bono will have more of a complaint on the goal that was called back than the foul will give it up. Langwa. Karuma keeps that in play. Plenty of time here for Halifax. Good ball. Ocas Garcia just needed to take a touch. Oliveira. Stephen Hart said that Luis Alberto Pereira would be good to go 60 to 70 minutes tonight. Was going to see how he felt in his return. He's been out for a month and a week. We'll see where his fitness levels are at. Ida, Perea, good touch to Karuma. Two players come over, Charlie Ward. That is an outstanding challenge right there by the central midfield player. Howarth. Did a nice job recovering as Howarth loves to push forward. This is nothing new. You can see the shift of the entire defensive structure, the Fury, to compensate when the captain gets forward in attack. It's been a good game here through an hour of play. Free kick coming up, dangerous. This is the dangerous zone right here. Tiago goes down. His two goals are the difference here tonight. Well read by Ward. Playing very well here in the second half of play, just keeping things composed, very good on the ball, reading the game very well. Arnone. Halifax looks much more composed here in the second half. Completely different experience for them. Playing at a different level. Pare. Muscles Francois off the ball. Karuma heads up play. Back to Perea. Waits. Across the six. Own goal. 2-2. Two -two. Luis Alberto Perea providing the danger. Spun into the Fury's own goal. We're level. The strength, the composure. Perea going to the touchline. And it's off Barnathan last. Not much you could do. The goalkeeper was in no man's land. Perea puts in the work. Doesn't get the goal. Doesn't matter. It's 2-2. Game on here in Halifax.
Did the Wanderers miss Perea or what? Here they come. The blue tide continues to come. In fairness, they should probably feel right now that the equalizer should have come about 10 minutes earlier. Francois was muscled off the ball by Perea on the goal. Rampersad steps in in the foul. It was Simmons who came through. Gagnon Lapare and Simmons, the second Wanderers player to go into the book of Silvio Petrescu. He and Akeem Garcia both on yellows. Fury being a threat all night from set pieces as the 21-year-old Elliot Simmons, former Fury Academy product. All he's put his back line is goalkeeper in a position where some important defending needs to be done. The right foot of Howarth is over this. The left foot of DeFreitas. Well, not even close. Third time, well, actually wasn't DeFreitas at all. Really good first game of the One Soccer Canadian Championship triple header tonight. About 10 minutes time, York 9 hosts the mighty Montreal Impact at York Lions Stadium. Cavalry, Whitecaps, and the Nightcap. This game set in the standard pretty high. Ida putting pressure on Barnathan. Wanders look a different team, don't they? Here in the second half. They're a much better second half team than a first half team. Told you a few moments ago, they've scored double the amount of goals in the second half as they have in the first 45 on the season. Bona. Fitness levels are good, organization is good. Once the legs get heavy on their opponent, the ability to strike on the counter has proven decisive on the season. Tiago with the brace, Perea from the penalty spot. Barnathan, the own goal, 2-2 at Wanderers ground. Gareth Wheeler with you. Pleasure to have you along here on One Soccer tonight. Looks like a substitution was made as Maxime Tissot is on the field of play. Looks like he might have replaced the... We'll confirm that substitution in just a moment. Don't want to speculate. Karuma. Mignola Paré. Francois, the flag stays down, gets it behind the back line, plays it to Tissot. What a goal! The super sub! Head eyes for the top corner. He found it. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. 3 2, Fury. Tissot just came on to replace Tiago. The two players have combined for the three goals, and what a strike. Closed down, just a little bit too late. Top corner, Tissot. And the Fury back out in front.
What a moment for the third year member of the Ottawa Fury out of Gatineau, Quebec. More of a defensive player. What a finish. Just one appearance in USL play in Tiso, the 27 year old. Well, his first goal of the season and a big one at that. A night of first, Tiago's first goal, followed by his second goal. And Tiso, he gets his first as well. Can Halifax punch back again? I mean, a true scrap here in Halifax, hasn't it? Here is Perea. Barnathan goes down. Manila helps out. Langwell read that. Steps up. They call him Zoom. And that's why he steps past the captain, Howarth. And this is not good news as Carl Howarth remains down as Obasi and Perea come together. There's a corner kick coming up, but that pales into comparison if Howarth is actually hurt. He's being arguably the best player on the field as the hostilities grow. This is what the Canadian Championship is all about. And that is the worrying side right there. Perea still having a word. Him and Barnathan going face to face. They're heated up. This is outstanding for the competition. Competitive juice is flowing. Perea and Barnathan still going. He didn't like Barnathan. He was waving his hand in front of his nose saying, you stink. I mean, come on now. He's inciting a lot of this, and Silvio Petrescu simply lost control. He's got to get this together. All the meanwhile, Howarth is down in the park. Barnathan not happy, Perea certainly not impressed. And Barnathan, he goes into the book and I have a feeling that Luis Alberto Perea is gonna join him there as well. So Petrescu brandishing the fifth and sixth caution of the night. But this is the emerging story here. Captain Courageous, Carl Howarth, he's down, is he out? Doesn't look like he's gonna continue, it's been lost in all this. Comes out the park, he does not look like he's in a good position whatsoever. Corner kick's finally gonna be taken. Elliot Simmons in swinging corner kick coming up. As Howarth watches on, and the substitution is made. The Fury wasting no time, Jamar Dixon. Experienced Canadian right back comes in, replaces the captain. Simmons, the ball hangs up high. Bona knocks it across. Scramble, Garcia. Ida sliding challenge and goal kick coming up after all of that. The biggest loss of all is this man, Carl Howarth, having to come off the field of play. We'll see how Large it looms. Dixon, a very good player in his own right. But Howarth has played in each and every Ottawa Fury match of this season. The only other player to do that as well, Cristiano Francois. We'll keep an eye on the extracurriculars between Perea and Dakota Barnathan as well. Things getting spicy in the Maritimes here tonight. Oh, chippy stuff right there. Petrescu's gonna show Bona the card now. That was, in fairness, the right move as Manella comes in to have a word with Andre Bona. There's no doubt about that. That was a chippy challenge with sinister intent.
Daniel Lapare is that kind of player just aggravates because fully committed each and every challenge. And he got Bona to bite. Well, Nikola Popovich and Steven Art want to settle their boys down. There is a second leg to play here. No need to needlessly have a player sent off. Hostility's good. Dirty play isn't something you want to see. And just minutes after Popovich loses Howarth, another concern emerging, Gagnon Lapare. Looks like he's struggling. Double change coming up for Halifax. Elliot Simmons, his night is done. And Kristovic Ensa is coming on for the Wanderers. And the second half of the double change, Zoom Langwa, he comes off. Alex DeCareless comes in. Like for like, DeCareless. Proper left back, maybe a little bit more defensively minded for Halifax. Ensa suffered through some injuries also on the season. And a Montreal comeback, just another young player, just 20 years of age. Formerly of the Montreal Impact. Careless spent time overseas in Sweden and elsewhere. Returned home to apply his professional trade here in his home country. <laughs> Tiso, the goal scorer, leaving that for Robasi. So plenty to decide, and based upon the skirmish, the injuries, there'll be some significant time added on once the 90s played out. Daniel Lapare back on his feet. Oliveira on Bona. Bona's on a caution. No back down from Andre Bona. So each side with one more change to be made. Ward. Rampersat does really well. A little bit of a TNT connection there with Rampersat and Garcia. TNT connection. Rampersat, Michael Williams, Garcia. And Elton John loving life on Canada's East Coast. Really embrace the community. Have their destinations where they can have Caribbean food on a regular basis. And I've been very positive about their Canadian experience. Dixon goes long to careless. Out of touch for. An Ottawa throw. Halifax is punched back twice. Do they have a third in them? Only time on the season Halifax has scored three times. It was against Vaughn Azuri in this very competition. Daniel Lapare. Rampersat. Here's Ward. Another giveaway in the middle of the park. Not the first time tonight by Halifax. Shala. Ubasi under pressure. Comes off the right back. Should be a Halifax throw. It is. Michael Williams way out of his area to Bona. 
Shala. <laughs> Rampersad ripping the ball away from Popovich. Ball played long. Barnathan, good header to Obasi. No nonsense stuff. Guignol Lapare. Ward. Well closed down by Ensa uh, as well as Ida. This time, Guignol Lapare gives away. Rappersad gets involved. Garcia had two options, picked neither. Dixon stepping in. Andre Bona denied a goal. Flag went up with the assistant referee, Stephanie Fortin. Significant talking point here in this 3-2 game. To Careless. Good give and go. Karuma, he's been good. He's fast, not quite that quick. Well, the substitute and the player that's given the Fury the 3-2 lead, Maxime Tissot, could be another injury for the Ottawa Fury, which would force the third and final change. Hasn't played a lot of games on the season, should be fresh. A calf, back of the knee, hamstring. I'll let you speculate. What a goal it was by Tissot, giving Popovich and his side the 3-2 lead. Tissot played with the Fury in 2016, scored two goals, and won the NASL Soccer Bowl with the San Francisco Deltas back in 2017. Good news, it looks like he can continue. as Silvio Petrescu continues to keep an eye on his watch. Rampersad, good knockdown. Perea, hard thought he could only play 60, 70 minutes tonight. He's left the Colombian out there through 80. In fairness, Perea looks fit, looks good. Got to trust the veteran player. Flag goes up offside. It's like the Fury are about to make their third and final change. Where are they? Long ball, Gagnon Lapare. Referee Silvio Petrescu just calls Tiso back on the field. 11 v 11 once again. Well, the Wanderers faithful don't like that. The Fury 61% of possession, 14 shots to five as Hart ponders what his final alteration, what that may be. Ensa. Closed down by Manella. Well done. Comes out to Bona. Obasi. Good composure on the ball. Chris Manella. Thought about it. Here is Cristiano Francois. Much more prominent role in the first half. Perea does really well. Enza. Maxime Tissot, the substitute, just minutes after coming on. He 
scores a 3-2 goal. Feel good moment for him as well as was out for a year with a knee injury and you feel good for the player facing adversity, coming back, battling through injury and scoring a goal in Canada's Cup competition. Good job by Rampersad Perea running at the back line. Nair Jaguar has been very good. Stabilizing force at the back for the Fury. Perea knocked down for Garcia. Inside the 18, there's contact, nothing given. Looked to be a penalty show right there as Garcia was bundled through, taken down. Well, Silvio Petrescu calls on the medical staffs. It's Garcia and Barnathan already put one into his own net. Garcia, he had already drawn a penalty on the night. Potentially should be two. Did the Fury get yet another lifeline? Well, Barnathan got the ball first. Studs were up. Looked like a good no call that time by Silvio Petrescu. Just because you get the ball first doesn't mean it's not always a foul, but it looked like he caught that pretty clean. Then Garcia came over after. Good officiating right there. But a dangerous play by Barnathan, to say the least. Wanderers will have reason to gripe. Andre Bona, his goal that was called back should have stood. That time, proper officiating. What a game here tonight. Not just a highly competitive matchup, but goals and a couple of very good goals, most notably three goals scored by the Fury tonight. And there will be some talk of giveaways leading up to the goals, but the finishes, two by Tiago, one by Tissot of the highest quality for Nikola Popovich and his Ottawa Fury side. Good ball in the top. Irving had to be brave, had to be sure coming out. He's on a caution already. Got there before Garcia. Really good goalkeeping. Giveaway by Tiso. Bona moving over to the left hand side. Karuma on the overlap. Not enough space, not nearly enough space. Manella didn't make the right decision there. You're up 3-2, perhaps just want to keep your foot on the ball, maintain possession. Ida, good turn. Koda Ida continues his run. He's been much more involved in the second half. Here he is, Ida. Good work, Ensa! Big challenge by Obasi. From distance, Ramper sad, nope. Not close, but some good attacking attend shown by the Wanderers. The team just so much better when Kodaida on the ball, playing a little bit more centrally, probably a better spot, pushing up almost alongside Perea at times. Shala. Ignore La Paré. Francois. Look out. 
turns to careless a couple times and Arnone plays that out. Yet another Fury corner kick coming up. Corner number 10 of the night for Ottawa. Arnone reaching for that leg. Howworth no longer on the field, left the game through injury. Tissot is going to take this one. Referee just having a word with the ball girl just to get the ball out of that area. Corner kick coming up. In swinging. Tissot, no. Overcooks that. Minor with injuries, with the skirmish. There should be considerable time added on here. And the final change coming up for the Montreal Impact. The night is done for Kevin Oliveira leading the line. It's Prote Mutemba. Mutembala coming into the game wearing number 27. 20 years of age from Montreal, Quebec. Oliveira did a nice job leading the line tonight. And he'll be a spectator for whatever time is being added on. First year for Mutembala with the Ottawa Fury. Trained with the Montreal Impact Academy. quality attacking player and the youngster will finish up the night here for the Fury. Final minute of the 90 for Ottawa. Gignon Lapare, I mean, he's been very good. Nothing flashy, workmanlike. It's those blue collar players that oftentimes propel your team to victory. Obasi gets inside. Oh, could have gone down, did not. That's the type of scenario where the, the player's a little bit less honest. You can oftentimes be rewarded. A couple of Wanderers defenders were diving in. Fair play to Obasi staying on his feet. Dixon. It's another giveaway by Ensa. 90 is done, five, five minutes of time added on. Can Halifax make it count? Throw in. Rampersad. Ensa. Shala. Well read by the Fury. Careless, a little careless with the ball there. Here is Francois. Cristiano in absolutely no hurry. He's fine keeping the ball right there. A little bit too much flash, not enough substance there, and Halifax gets the ball straight back. TD place in Ottawa two weeks from now. These two sides will play for a spot in the semifinal round. The winner will go on to take on the defending, the reigning champs in Toronto FC. Here is Kodaida inside the area. The ball spilled. Karuma can't make contact. The ball played clear. Ida again creating. Just couldn't pick out a target inside the 18. Ball pump forward, Irving, easy take right there. Tried to play that in a hurry and he finds his target. Mutembala. Throw in coming up for the Fury. 
A job almost done by Nikola Popovich, but certainly his curiosity into what type of competition he played tonight. It, he was right, nothing to be taken lightly. Said that the priority was to perform tonight. This is a serious competition for the Ottawa Fury. Coming into it with expectation. It's a busy time for the Ottawa Fury. Jan Michael Williams comes down with it. Trying to climb the table in the USL. Karuma to Luis Alberto Perea. Good, skips past his mark. Can he pick out a, an option? He finds Karuma. Two players in the corner, corner kick coming up. Here we go. Right in the kitchen. The privateers getting behind the boys in blue. Is there a goal to be had? What a storyline that would be. Karuma to take. Far post. Oh, wow. Bondre Bono was right there on the doorstop. Straight into the safe hands of Irving. An absolute chance. Ball just got hung up a little bit too high. Bona was left wide open. Almost had time to take that down. Defending not great, Stephen Hart. Perhaps will feel his side was robbed of a third. Let's call this friendly time wasting here by Cristiano Francois. La Parade just played that out of touch. Here we go. Last chance saloon for the Wanderers of Halifax. Garcia can't keep that in play, or it's actually a handball. Job almost done. Not a complete loss for Halifax either if it stays 3-2. The mission will be quite simple. Go to Ottawa, come away with a victory. But it was the Ottawa Fury, fast, furious. Three very good goals of the highest quality. And their first foray, their first match against Halifax. Well, it's a successful one.